Hello everybody, welcome back. We are here with another day of science and today we are going to begin our experiment. Hooray! I am so excited for us to begin this experiment to begin testing the capacity of excuse me of our boats. Now I have three boats here all of the same size. We are testing our boat at the two centimeter level today. Okay, I'm going to mark this boat with a permanent marker. I marked it with a felt tip pen earlier and that's just not gonna cut it once we add it to water. So I'm gonna set that one down. Take the lid off of our marker. Now yesterday you saw that what we need to pay attention to is how we set our passengers or our pennies into our boats because if we pay attention to that then we will be able to get a fair assessment of the capacity of our boats right remember if we put all of our pennies in one portion of the boat it begins tipping unevenly and then once the water level reaches that lip of the boat, it begins to spill over, tipping and filling our cup, and then it begins to sink, right? But if we put our pennies into our boat, so remember that's if we stack them up, but if we spread them out, like this, and we have them filling the whole bottom of the cup, more pennies can fit in there. And then instead of the cup tipping, the cup begins to lower as a whole, again, instead of tipping. And if it lowers as a whole, that water level comes up to the brim of the cup at once, and then kind of um, surrounds it and fills it together and so then you'll have more pennies or more passengers in your boat at once instead of just being able to fit a few in there before the cup fills. So we are going to test this today and because we're true scientists we are going to do three trials not two three so that we can get an accurate measurement of our cup's capacity and we are going to take the average of our three um, trials okay so I have three cups remember because we want we wanted and I have a bucket of pennies because we wanted dry pennies and dry cups each time so that we can make sure we have the sturdiest cups available and that we're not adding extra water or extra weight to our cup as we go along. Okay, so I'm going to get started because this is going to take us a little time. So here's cup one, two centimeters, and they're all cut right at the two centimeter line. I marked all of them. So cup one, I'm going to tilt this down so you can see it. And I'm not throwing them in there, I'm placing them in there. So penny one, and I'm gonna try to do them in pairs so that it's kind of even from the start. Whoop. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it right there so I can get the pair on. So there's four in there now. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so eleven pennies made it sink. So that means our capacity is ten. It was still floating with ten. Okay, I should have been smarter. I have a towel here for the pennies, but not really. 
the cups. I need to dry out the cups too. Otherwise I can, I suppose, keep making cups for each trial as well. Okay, so that's trial one. And as you can see here, I've recorded that data on our graph. Okay, so two centimeters, trial one, ten, number of passengers, 10. Okay. Okay, so this is cup number two. Again, two, sorry, upside down, two centimeters. Sitting on top of the water, floating quite nicely, zero passengers. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so twelve made it sink. So that means 11 fit in there just fine. Dump out the water. Empty out the pennies. Let the cup sit upside down. Okay, cup number three. Two centimeters again. Floating on the water. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13 that time. So that means our capacity was 12. So with our numbers of, sorry, I'll drain this real quick. So with our capacities of, 10, 11, and 12 passengers. Our average passenger number, our capacity, is going to be 11 passengers. Okay? Because you can add these up and divide by 3 to get the mean. Okay? Or what I can do is here I have 10, here I have 11. I can take one of the numbers from the 12, add it to the 10, and then I know I'm going to have 11 three times. Okay. So my average number of passengers for the 2 centimeter cups is 11. Okay. When I rewrite this, I will figure out where to put that so it looks a little cleaner and that we can see that number a little bit more, um, not vividly, but a little more plainly so that it's more visible. Okay. So that is the information we have for today. Okay. So what I want you to think about today is what you noticed about this experiment. Okay. Tomorrow we are going to try a new boat. This video is going to be almost 10 minutes long by the time we're done with it. Okay, it's at nine and a half now. Tomorrow we're going to do another depth. We'll do three centimeters tomorrow. And we'll do four centimeters the next day. Okay, so each day we'll do a new centimeter. Tomorrow, what I want you to think about, or I guess my question now, as we try a new boat tomorrow, what do you think will happen? What do you think might be a difference that we're going to see?
Okay, in our discussion, let me know what you think. And then tell me, tell me how you think you are going to see this experiment change and grow over time. Okay, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.